welcome to my kitchen. Um, today we are going to be dehydrating mushrooms. So I picked out some of these mushrooms in my produce box and got a whole bunch and they're probably going to go bad before I get a chance to use them. So we're going to use them up today. Um, one thing about these videos is my kitchen is always going to be a mess. It just is what Here. it is. So bear with me. Enjoy. So a sign of a messy kitchen, I guess, is a used kitchen. So we're using it every day during this quarantine and making things better for our lives. We're preparing for the future and making sure we don't run out of fresh vegetables, or I guess not fresh vegetables, just any vegetables. So I'm pregnant. <laughs> so the next few months I'm just preparing and getting things ready so that way we have enough food around the house, um, stuff that I love to eat. Erin hates mushrooms, but I love them. So as you can see, full trash bins. That's how life is. So we are going to chop up some of these mushrooms. And how we're going to do that is just slice them about a quarter inch thick so that way they dry out nice and evil evenly just like that this is the first youtube video that i'm making so bear with me it's just this is how it's gonna be i've decided to start making these videos mostly because i want something to do and i think my family just really wants to see more of me so this is a way to do that and satisfy all of our needs and kind of I hope to teach you guys something on preserving and just not wasting food because I think I'm not the only one feeling this but food is precious right now it's harder to get to the grocery store so we're just trying to do the best we can with what we have So I'm going to chop all of these up nicely and bear with the audio. I, I ordered a cheap $15 um, microphone from Amazon, which I know Amazon it's worse, but it hasn't come yet. So we are just waiting on it right now. And I'm sure my voice isn't as clear as it would like to be, but I tried to turn off all of the appliances to make it a little bit better. And yeah. And I'm sure my videos will get better in time. So keep watching. They could be entertaining. We'll see. But for right now, we're gonna chop up these mushrooms. Oops. Be careful of your fingers. That's the main thing. So keep chopping these up. And I don't worry about getting them too even. I just want them to be somewhat close. So I got these mushrooms in the Imperfect Produce box, which I usually love, but last night, <laughs> They came at 9.30 and I was already asleep. So they actually text me when the box is about to arrive, but they only texted me a few minutes before. And so I had to, um, I was already asleep, so I didn't get it. So what happened was, is I woke up at 1 a.m. and saw that I missed a text message from them and decided to go check and see if by chance it was still there. And lo and behold, I went outside and it was actually outside. So the produce box was sitting outside in a very, very urban neighborhood where things get stolen all of the time. And I was shocked that it had been out there for hours and hadn't gotten stolen. So, you know, that was a big win yesterday because we had tons of vegetables in it and I just really wanted those vegetables um, for dehydrating, for eating fresh, just to have some fresh stuff on hand. So it was there. 
thank goodness. Um, usually they ring the doorbell, but for some reason they did not. So we are surprised it was still there. Okay, so right now we're just going to add these mushrooms to this rack. I have a pesto, presto, dehydrado, dehydro, I don't know, whatever. Presto dehydro dehydrator that we got on Amazon for $30. So something cheap that we just decided to get. And I actually just started using it for herbs. So that's what I'm using mostly for, herbs from the garden and things that I save from the garden. So right now we're gonna use it for mushrooms. So I'm just gonna line these mushrooms up and then fill up this whole thing. And once it becomes full, we will turn it on. So I tend to put the round sides, if you see these guys, I put them this side down so it doesn't stick. You know, people are wondering what to do during their days off if you're not working. And something cheap that you can do is just dehydrate things. It's fun, it saves it for later. And you know, you're not really spending much money because if you get things on sale, it's not much more than you're not buying much more than what you would anyway. Like we dehydrated whole mason jars of um, apples and I got the apples on sale. They were like five apples for 99 cents, which is super cheap. And then also what we did was ran the dehydrator, which heats our kitchen because we live in a small apartment. So, Right now, it's still snowing outside, so we just need the extra heat going. And this dehydrator costs about 25 cents a day to run, at least in the prices we're paying. So it's not a lot of money, and it heats up our whole kitchen. Actually, Erin put the kibosh on me um, dehydrating in the summer because it was heating up our house too much during the summer and then we were having to cool it down. So right now, all we're doing is dehydrating in the winter, which is kind of the opposite time to dehydrate, but if you can find things cheaply and good, then it's a great time. Perfect, now we have a full tray. It is. So I put on this. And then literally, I just plug it in. So the dehydrator will take about, I believe 12 hours for these mushrooms to be fully dry. And once the mushrooms are fully dry, you can put them in a mason jar. I don't do anything different. And I put them in the mason jar and just set it aside. So that's what I do. Um, we tend to use things really fast in this house. So I don't really worry about it too much. Um, they say it'll last up to five years, so that's what I'm hoping for. So we've dehydrated the mushrooms, and this is what they look like when they're done. So it took about hmm, eight to ten hours to fully dehydrate. And I've let them sit for another hour or two just so that way they're fully dry. And now I'll put them into mason jars for storage. Oh, and by the way, clean the kitchen, <laughs> finally. So I don't know if you can hear this, but that's what they sound like when they're dry. So they're very, very light and you want them to be about 95% dry before you put them away at least, if not 100% dry. So they shouldn't be tacky, they should just kind of be light and um, just really dry. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. You'll get the hang of it as you do this more and more. And here's the final product. So. We have two jars of mushrooms. I just took some old jars that I had sitting in my cabinet and just 
clean them out really good and then put them away. So I realized earlier that my chopping is probably driving my chef friends nuts. So I'm sorry for that, but I wasn't really paying attention to chopping vegetables. I was mostly paying attention to talking since I've never really done this before. So bear with me. So yeah, thanks for watching and we have some dried mushrooms now that you can put into soups. Uh, you can rehydrate these and I think use them as regular mushrooms. I'm not really sure. We have not used them yet, so I will let you know when I do. Okay, bye, thank you.